Today we're going to do a simple line landscape, practicing on foreground, middle ground, and background. And when we make those components of a landscape, it really makes our artwork come to life. So let's start our art lesson today by doing our mantra, and then we'll get to work on the materials that we need for this project. So get yourself ready, here we go. My mantra, I am positive, I am creative, I am mindful, I am amazing, I am an artist. Okay, artist, all you really need is some sort of paper and some sort of coloring tools. I'm probably gonna be using markers for this, but it's also awesome to do with crayons or some other materials that you can add your own spin to it. So once you have your materials, let's get started. Let's start drawing our landscape from the front to the back. So the parts of the landscape are the foreground, the middle ground, and the background, all the stuff behind it. So for the foreground, I'm gonna have a lot of green hills and little kind of overlapping patterns that will be used to fill in my space. So you can start kind of near the bottom and we're going to make sort of a wavy hill line. Remember your own designs and patterns that you use to fill in your line landscape are of course up to you since you are the artist with different ideas. So I'm going to kind of overlap a few different landscape of lines by making some wavy lines that go in front of or behind each other. Ooh, this marker is a little dry, but that's fine. It's still gonna work. So I'm doing straight lines, but I can even change and switch to a different type of line. So for example, I'm gonna add maybe just a couple more hill, um, overlapping hill lines for this foreground part. So I'm gonna change up my lines a little bit and fill in my space. Okay, my foreground line creations are pretty much filled in. So now I'm going to do the middle ground. And the middle ground for this project is going to be kind of mountains and some taller hills with different colors that are more in the middle of my paper. So for that, I'm going to stick to more purples and blues to kind of do something a little bit different in the middle ground. And I'll start drawing those shapes. So these will be more kind of like a big, huge zigzag to help fill my space. And I can even have some that are overlapping over the top of each other. And then I'll fill these in with patterns and designs too. The middle ground of my line landscape is pretty full. So now it's time for me to do the background. So I'm gonna make kind of a sun and some clouds and some things in the background of my landscape using the extra colors that I haven't really used that much like yellows, oranges, reds, and those really bright colors. I like to have my sun kind of rising from the horizon line, meaning that I'm going to have it kind of peeking out from this little edge. Ooh, lime green, that works. And then I'm gonna start doing things like adding some extra little lines, maybe doing some sort of spirals, and then continuing to fill in all my extra space by making sure I don't have a lot of white space showing through. That is a pretty cool line landscape, practicing the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. You could totally stop and have your artwork be done like this, but sometimes I like to add a few different kinds of materials. So now I'm gonna go back in with some crayons and kind of color in to sort of match the color that I had here, just so I have a little less white space. So I might pick and choose a few areas. Remember with crayon, you can always go back and do something that has value, so the difference between light and dark. So maybe I'll press a little bit darker with my crayon near the um, side here and then it's going to kind of fade to have my sun be a little bit darker on one spot and a little bit lighter on the other. So this is a fun way to help fill in some of your white space. All right friends, my line landscape is done. I left a little bit of some of the white spaces because I like the contrast of the colored spaces and the not colored spaces, but it's kind of fun to experiment with different kinds of materials that you can use to practice your lines and your patterns while also doing a landscape with a foreground, middle ground, and a background. So it's a great way to use composition to completely fill your space. Now, because we're practicing with lines today, we're going to do a little meditation at the end that has to do with making a line. So have your fingers like this, and we're going to do three deep breaths where we go out, and then in. And we're gonna just focus on our fingers to try to draw as straight of a line as possible, kind of looking in the middle. So our breath moves with our fingers, but we're really gonna focus on keeping those nice, full, deep breaths. So three times, here we go. That 
one's kind of tricky because it's hard to figure out where your eyes need to go, but it's a fun way for you to focus on using different parts of concentration to really be focused for your meditation. Remember, you are amazing, you are strong, you are resilient, and I love you. We will see you next time.